Action. Action. So today we are making a mint chip ice cream. And um, this is the first day of two days that we'll take to make it. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix our base and then the next day after it's had a chance to rest in the fridge, uh, we'll cool it and we'll show you two different ways to do that. So to make this recipe, uh, we're using uh, Jenny's ice cream base recipe and we're just modifying it with mint. So we have milk in two separate quantities and we have heavy cream, we have cornstarch, we have light corn syrup, we have our mint leaves, we have sugar, we have cream cheese, and we have a little bit of salt. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our larger quantity of milk and we're going to blend it with our mint leaves. Uh, you could strain them out after the cooking process but we think that it gives it a nicer flavor and a look if you leave the leaves in and to do that you're going to want to um, blend them up pretty well. So the leaves. Uh, next we're going to bring our mixture to a boil so we're going to take uh, the milk and the mint into a medium sort of size saucepan we're going to add our heavy cream our light corn syrup our kosher salt and then our sugar and we're now going to heat this on medium high and bring it to a boil so while our mixture while our milk and everything else is heating on the stove we're going to mix our smaller amount of milk with the cornstarch to make a slurry so we're just going to add that cornstarch to the milk stuff from the bottom there and we're just going to whisk, whisk it together until it's fully combined and set that aside So we're boiling now, so we need a quick stir again, and then we're going to uh, stir in our slurry. Uh, make sure to mix it up a little bit before you add it, just to get all the parts that have settled at the bottom. Um, and you're just going to keep just quickly while the mixture is still hot we're going to take our cream cheese which you can see has softened up a little bit since we had it out and we're going to put that in a larger bowl uh, because we're going to pour our mixture right on top carefully and from the bottom and then we are going to mix it until the cream cheese has been fully incorporated. Once that's done, we'll let it cool at room temperature and then we can put it in the fridge and let it sit overnight before we move on to the final step. Okay, so our ice cream base has been resting and chilled in the fridge overnight. So now we can make our ice cream. Uh, to start off, to save ourselves a little time, we're going to turn it on and um, we're going to do something called pre-cool which is basically uh, just turns on the uh, condenser, the, the cooling function in the ice cream machine and um, it'll pre-cool this uh, cavity here and get it ready uh, for the ice cream. It just saves us a little bit of time later when we're spinning it. So we're going to do that. Um, and it's going to give us a beep 
when it's ready to when we're ready to add the ice cream so you can see what's going on here if you just look at this kind of this is like a progress bar sort of so right now it's just doing the pre-cooling I'll put this thing back on um, it'll make a noise when it's ready and then you'll see the bars fill up all the way to whatever you set your your desired um, result to be for ice cream we'll go all the way to the end here pre-cooling and now it says ready and press start uh, we also heard an audio signal so we know we're good to go and so we're just gonna pour our base in now and we'll hit start uh, and we'll just wait until it's time to add our chocolate chips and if you wanted music what would you do well we do want music so there's it's already on and we always want music um, but we have the option to select between our different options. Right now it's on three. You can choose. Oh, that's the noise level. Option one. Option two. This is the favorite. We like number three. Alright. Okay, uh, so we just heard an uh, audio cue and you can see now it's telling us to add in our mixes. So at this point we're going to add our chocolate chips. If we were making something else, uh, like a fruit based ice cream or something with cookie crumbs or whatever, we would add that in now as well. So just going to pour that in. And the idea is basically if we're adding it in later, um, number one, it won't settle because this has already started to thicken up a little bit. And number two, whatever you're adding won't get too beat up by the continuous mixing. To be honest, I don't even know if you're going to do that with that racket. With that racket. In the background. We'll close it up and we we'll wait till we're finished. And you can see we're pretty far along now, and it's been about 40 minutes. Uh, probably just a couple minutes more, and it'll be done. Okay. Uh, so a couple minutes later, our ice cream is done. Uh, so at this point, and we can turn the machine off. Uh, I'll just turn it off. Uh, and then we're going to scoop it into our container, which we should have ready. Um, so in this case, we're just going to use something like this, um, whatever you have. Uh, and then we're going to put it in the freezer um, for a few hours. So, I mean, yes, you could eat it right now, but as you'll see, it's still quite soft. Um, so you can't really scoop it uh, at this stage. You're going to want to put it in the freezer to firm up the rest of the way. And scoop those bezels off. And then it'll be a little easier to end the machine and so everything else off. If you want to make this at home and you don't have an ice cream maker, uh, there are lots of videos and um, recipes online that will tell you how to do it. Uh, basically, you just put ice and uh, two little bags